Russian forces in action in eastern Ukraine, where they're making advances. Moscow says its forces have captured the town of Liman, an important railway hub, and the key city of Severodonetsk is now in its sights. If the occupiers think that Liman and Severodonetsk will be theirs, they are wrong. Donbass will be Ukrainian. But this is the kind of firepower Russia is bringing to bear on the region, and after three months of war, Ukraine wants more help from the West to resist. Today, President Putin spoke to his French and German counterparts, who urged him to hold direct and serious negotiations with Ukraine to end the conflict. Remember this moment at the start of the war, when President Putin alarmed the world by announcing he'd put Russia's nuclear deterrence forces on high alert. Russia has the world's biggest nuclear arsenal, and this exercise just before the invasion involved nuclear weapons. But the BBC has been told it's unlikely to use them in Ukraine. Do you believe that there could be the use of a, a tactical nuclear weapon in the war in Ukraine? Tactical nuclear weapon, in accordance with the Russian uh, military doctrine, is not uh, used in conflicts like that at all. So you do not believe that will happen? I don't think Can so. you categorically no. say it no. will not happen? We, we have a very strict provision uh, on the issues of the use of tactical nuclear weapon, and it is mainly when the existence of the state is endangered. It has nothing to do with the current operation. But Russia does still want to display its military might to the world. Here, a missile is test-fired that President Putin says can travel at nine times the speed of sound, its range over 600 miles. The images released today by Russia's defence ministry carry a message of the potential reach of its destructive power.